If you have been experiencing DirectX errors and crashes when trying to play Warzone Pacific, then you have come to the right place. Because in this video, I will be showing you a few things that you can do which will hopefully resolve those issues that you're facing. So the first thing you need to do is just ensure you don't have anything open when you are launching Warzone Pacific and also playing the game. Because one of these programs could be conflicting with the game which is causing it to crash and give you a DirectX error. That also includes turning off any programs that use an in-game overlay, like Discord or GeForce Experience or even Rivia Tuner. Just turn off the overlays and the programs. Once you've done that, you now need to ensure that Windows is up to date. And to check this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then select settings. You now need to click on update and security and you then need to click on the check for updates button. This is very similar in Windows 11. So as you can see, I'm showing you how to do this in Windows 10, but all these methods will work in Windows 11 as well. So if you did have any updates available, go ahead and install those updates, restart your computer. And then the next thing you need to do is ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your system, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, selecting device manager, expanding display adapters. And then as you can see, I have a GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to click on the link that's in the description below to the Nvidia website and download the driver for a 1660 Super. I will pop the links in the description below to Nvidia AMD and Intel. So once you have downloaded the driver for your graphics card and installed that driver, you now need to click on the next link that's in the description below to update DirectX. So you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to select your language and then press download. You now need to go save file. And once the file has finished downloading, you then need to run the setup. You now need to agree to the terms. If you do agree, press I accept and then next. And you can now choose if you want to install the Bing bar. I don't want to, so I'm going to deselect that and then press next. And it will now begin to check if you have the latest DirectX on your computer. If it does detect that there's a new update, then it will now begin to install DirectX to your system. But as you can see, I do have the latest version installed, so that's all good. Also, it's important, like I just said, to check that Windows is up to date because Windows does install DirectX as well through the check for updates. So once you've done all that, the next thing you need to do is launch Warzone Pacific. So once you're in game, you now need to select options in the bottom left hand corner and you now need to click onto graphics. You now need to select quality and you then need to scroll down and you now need to click on restart shaders installation and then press restart. And this is going to delete the shaders cache. And once it says completed, go ahead and join into a game and see if that resolves the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is just completely close down Warzone. You now need to open up battle.net app and you then need to select Warzone from the top and then click on the settings cog and you now need to click onto game settings. You now need to expand additional command line arguments and you now need to put hyphen D3D11 and then press done. And this is going to force Warzone Pacific to run in DirectX 11. Go ahead now and launch into game and see if that resolves the DirectX issues you're having. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is completely close down Battle.net app and you now need to open up your documents folder. You now need to find the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder and right click on this folder and go rename and you then need to rename this folder to something like backup and then press enter. Now go ahead and launch Warzone Pacific and see if that resolves the issue. But this will basically remove all your in-game settings. So if you set any key bindings or anything like that, you will unfortunately have to reset all those settings. But it could be a setting that you have changed that's causing the DirectX issue, especially when it comes to the video settings. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you need to do is open up the Battle.net app again. You now need to select Warzone again and then click on the settings cog. 
you now need to click on scan and repair and then click on begin scan. And this is going to check to see if any of the Warzone files have become corrupted or missing. And if it does detect an issue with one of the game files, it will then attempt to repair those files. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and resolved the DirectX issues you were having. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then hit that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.